Hello, my name is Luke and I'm here to show you the good stuff, stuff that is going to make your life a hell of a lot easier being an independent artist, making your own music, a producer, whatever you're doing. And I've got a really, really good one for you today. If you are looking to make music more efficiently or you're maybe just getting started in music, then I want to show you a framework and a process that I use and think about every single time I'm making songs. And it is incredibly simple. There are five key components to make up almost any song in the world. And I'm going to particularly focus in on the pop side of things, maybe a bit of hip hop, whatever. And I've got three song examples to show you to, to prove to you that this framework works for almost any different genre and varying styles. Okay. And the framework is super simple. It goes like this. When you're making a song, you are layering it up. There are five different things that you want to layer on top of one another to create your full song. And they are drums. They are bass instruments so your middle instruments that can be guitar piano synth vocals and then effects to finish off that's it if you want to make any song in the world think about those five key areas and i'm going to show you examples of them now the first one i'm going to show you is a demo that i made the other day and you can see that i've color coded a bunch of stuff here the red are the drums the brown is the bass the purple are the synths and the green is guitar the guitar and the synths here these fall under the mid category so those middle instruments they kind of provide a lot of more harmonic information, so great to sing over. You'll see that I'm missing vocals and effects here. That's because I, this is just a demo. I don't have any vocals on this, but I do have a song with vocals later to show you. So I'm just going to show you a snippet of them so you can hear how it works in all these different styles. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. It basically does a little loop of that, all right? But just to show you that this song here, there's plenty of space for vocals to go on top. So great for either a song I might do in the future or a singer. And you can see that it's just made up of all those key elements. So we first off have the drums that are playing this. A very groovy beat here indeed. We then have the bass. In this case, there are two bass parts. There is a sub kick, which you'll need headphones for to hear. And that plays every single time the kick hits. We then have this little sub bass here, which is kind of like an impact style bass. So it just adds that little fizz at that point there. And that's it. That's all we have for the drums and bass. So there we are. We've ticked off two of the five. And then we have our midsection here which are keys and guitar. So these take up that middle portion and I'll show you exactly what's going on here. So I won't get into the whole layering and how they're all working together, but I just want to show you this as the example that this is a whole layer. Okay, so we've ticked off that, the mids, and then there are no effects on this particular one. If I was to finish this off, because this is essentially a the beginnings of a demo, right? If I was to add some effects to this, I'd probably add some cymbal sweeps. I might add some more impacts, all right? And that doesn't include any vocal effects that I might add, okay? And then, of course, the vocals are pretty self-explanatory. You would write something over the top of this. The next one that I want to show you is another slightly more polished demo that I made. Again, no vocals on this one, but you can see that the structure is pretty much the same. We have red at the top for drums, just below that, where I've moved these tracks here. The brown is for bass, the purple for my mids here. You see there's no green, so there's no guitars in this. I didn't feel like it needed it, obviously. And then we have orange for effects here so there we go we've ticked off four of the five key areas of course we're just missing vocals but that is pretty self-explanatory you'd sing that over the top so i'll play you a bit of this so you can hear what's going on
Okay, I'm just going to stop it there. So you can hear that this is a different style to the first one, but all the principles are the same. So here is what the drums are doing in the chorus. Pretty epic. All right, and then we have the bass underneath that, and that is playing this. It's a very fat sounding bass. And then underneath that, we have our synths or our mids. This was a very synth pop driven track. So again, lots of synths made sense. And you can see that we just have some nice pads here and we have some uh, arpeggios going on as well. And then underneath that, we have these effects here. I'll just show you them individually here. We have this kind of uh, idle boat effect, which is this. So although this doesn't play in the chorus, this does play all leading up to the chorus and just gives a bit of a, a vibe, a bit of ambience. The other thing that we have is some trees rustling here. Well, there was trees rustling. There we go. If I turn it up, you can hear it. I, have, I obviously turned it down because I didn't want it in the track. And then we have our final effect, which is a vocal effect. You can see I've labeled it VFX here for vocal effects. And that is doing this. And it does the same in the chorus as well. I would argue that actually another effect that we have is this little pad here, which is reversing into um, a next section. So it's a transition. I would arguably call that an effect as well. So that should be orange really, but in this case, I just kept it as um, as purple. The colors don't really matter. The point is, is that it's an effect and it still fits into the principles that we're talking about here. So here is another example where that principle framework is being followed. And the final song here that I've got is called Sorry. It's actually one of my own. And you can see that there's actually vocals on this one. They are colored this dark blue here and then this light blue. The light blue being the lead vocals and the dark blue being kind of the vocal effects and these backing vocals here. If I just open up this track here, you can see them. So this is a more fully fledged finished song, but again, you can see that it still keeps to the five ideas, the five instrument sections here. We have our drums, we have our bass, we have the synths and guitar, so our mid section, and then we have vocals here. And then we do have some orange for the effects just up there. And the effects in this track are arguably a little more minimal, uh, but they're still there. I'll just play you a little bit of the verse going into the chorus so you can get a feel for the track. Cause you were my bride then I, and I was gonna be your guy. And now it kills me, you were Okay, cool. So you can see that covers all five areas. Let's take a quick look at what they're doing individually. The drums here are playing this with the effects actually I'll add because these are part of the drum bus channel here. Really great groove in this one. Underneath that we have the bass and the bass is very, very simple here. Just one note, and that is side-chained, I believe, to the kick. Yep, we're side-chaining it with a bit of track space here, so every time the kick hits here, this will duck like that. Underneath that, we have our mid-section, so our synth and our guitars, and I'll play them for you now. see we have piano and we have acoustic guitar here they're the main instruments and then we have this little organ which is adding in a little stab here and there you'll hear it right at the end just there so that's our midsection taken care of 
We then go over to our lead vocal and here, this is something that I wrote for the song. So of course, I'll go over to the verse because I'm doing a bit more over there. Did you ever give a second thought? Did you even think about me? Did you ever consider the home you burned down or live in denial like you can't be? And this is something that'd be personal to you as the artist, depending what your vocal style is, what you're writing about. And I can do a whole video on writing a top line. Let me know if you want to see that. We also have in the chorus these uh, vocal effects here. And the reason why they're color blue, even though they're more like a lead vocal, is because they are a vocal sample here. And they are doing this. Don't say you ain't sorry. Don't say it. Don't say you ain't sorry. And then these dark blue are my vocal effects. So you can hear that this is like a vocal impact style. This is more like a backing vocal uh, slash lead vocal here. And so when you put all them together, you then get the full complete track. And again, they honor the five things that you would need to make a song. So drums, bass, your midsection, guitar, piano, synth, vocals, and then effects. So they are the key components to making your own music, okay? How to put them together, that is entirely up to you. Music is supposed to be this form of expression. There are some good things to follow when thinking about it. And when making music as an artist, I tend to try and keep my stuff more simple. Uh, as you can see with this one, there's just piano, guitar, and there's barely any effects um, and transitions and things. That's because I just wanted to keep it simple and focus on writing actually a good song. So hope you found this video useful. If you do, like, follow, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.